It is, I think, a real failure of federal policy that there is no path for people that have already been in the industry who know what they're doing to establish a new entity and get funding. And I understand if we're not going to give them 30 or $40 million, but I think the idea of audited financials should apply above a certain dollar limit. If you want to basically get $500,000 or a million dollars to prove something, I think federal programs should make money available, even though it's a slightly higher risk in order to help people prove out their business models and then give them more if they succeed. So I don't know if anyone else had any thoughts on that, but I just feel like we're really missing an opportunity here. I've been talking I actually had a com- to- go, ahead. go ahead. You first. You first. Kim I first was like, I actually had a conversation about this yesterday because somebody was looking about like grants and what they do with these things and how they apply for them. And I'm like, unless you know somebody or you have a proven business model, you're not going to even get across the line to even be considered. So it is a little bit of um, an obstacle for a lot of new providers or unknown people who are buying into this space right now. So it is a really interesting market. And I, I couldn't agree with you more that I think that some of these uh, smaller guys need to at least have a chance at some of the money. I've been talking to a lot of broad, state broadband department, you know, groups and, and <clears throat> the way they view this is there are points for all these various topics. You don't, you're not disqualified for not having audited financials. You just don't get as many points. And so they have some leeway to give you points mm-hmm. elsewhere if they really want you to get a grant. They're going to give the money to who they want to give it to. They're always going to find a way to do that. And I don't think it's as bleak as, as you might think it is because these are not pass-fail sort of items. However, if they don't know you and you're brand new and they've never heard of you, then you're, they're not going to give you that. So so that 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 supports what Kim said. But, but you know, if – there are lots of groups where the state broadband office is going to say, you know what, those guys deserve it. They're going to find a way to give them the money. So, because they, they can, they can score grants pretty much any way they want. So. 